People really don't like Notion. Also, what is up with the YouTube algorithm giving me sports news in a Notion is getting worse search? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have to address a topic that has come to my attention recently through YouTube, my experience with my coworkers, and a lot of different things that are happening in the Notion community. Can I get a drum roll, please? Notion has officially become slow. And I mean slow. I know I just explained what I meant by slow, but I'm going to say it again. It is slow. Now, I do want to acknowledge the fact that Notion has implemented automations. It has implemented reasonable columns. It's implemented an entirely new formula system. It's implemented AI into its workspace, and it's even got a more advanced AI feature that's coming out soon. But it's slow. And I must make an admission that I never thought I would make. Just kidding. It's something I always thought I would make. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you a really cool trick that I've made inside of Notion that basically shows you why the heck I'm not gonna leave this platform unless something drastically awful happens. So I have been utilizing this platform for nearly three, no, geez, Louise, four years now. I've been a consultant on it. I've learned so much about this platform that it hurts me. When I go into my tasks, I see this as a completely different platform than a lot of people. I've imagined a myriad of different ways to automate so many different things in my task system, in my priorities, in my content calendar management, that truthfully, I don't know what the heck I would do if I left this platform. For those of you that are unaware, I create content for applications. I create content for these applications as like a service-based business where I essentially, along with my team, create hopefully well-edited videos. Wink, shout out to my video editors. That capture the attention of people and help educate them on how company software can allow people to become more productive, more effective. And I did that originally with a lot of content videos on this channel. And truthfully, I got so embedded in my processes and workflow that after a while, I created a myriad of different automations and have seen this platform improve so much. Like if I went to my first video talking about this fabled application, God, I made 200 videos on this app. That's actually insane. Also shout out to YouTube for serving me ads in my own videos. Look at this video. I mean, just look at this workspace. What What is, what is homie doing in this? What, what are we? What is this, a wiki? Uh, first of all, shout out to when I actually thought that the other version of gray looked better in Notion. My color blindness has since adjusted and I actually like it more now. Also, shout out to me having a wonderful basement. Shout out to my parents. But look at this. What, what even is this setup? That's adorable. It just looks night and day from the current platform. I don't even I don't even recognize it. What is it? Like if we had to compare the two, now Notion is on steroids. We have built-in automations. We have recurring tasks. I forgot to mention that, by the way. We have a real recurring task now. We have a real API connection. We have so many different things that truthfully, I'm just going to write it out. I love this platform. I don't know what else I would do if I had to leave this platform and it would die. Would I use ClickUp next? Uh, I don't know, maybe probably Coda or something. It's just like a little builder action. But whatever has the best API connection, I, I would probably use because I, I realize at this point, I kind of just get how a lot of the logic works within these platforms. And that's why I can review a new app in like 38 seconds. I can be like, oh, this is how this one works. And if you're somebody who loves an app this much and it's having a bad month or a bad quarter, stick it out because you can get so good at applications if you stick it out that quite literally you can do something something like this. All right, so I'm gonna go into make.com, which shout out to make.com for being absolutely awesome. And what if I told you that I had an automation built? Yeah, I know, I know this is overwhelming. We get it, we get it, I'm a crazy person. That was so good that literally, let's pretend like it's the end of the day, I didn't get around to checking off my little habit tracker things, right? That during the middle of the night, say for example, this task and this task were both there due to the fact that I know I didn't check it off. What would I end up doing the next day? Oh, I would just bump the task for a day, right? Right. All right, so we now we see this right here, the double task action going on. Every single night, I now have an automation that runs that goes, hey bud, did you do everything you needed to yesterday? I don't know, did you? Um, well, did it, uh, it doesn't seem like you might've done it. I'm a little bit confused. Do you want me to push it to tomorrow? Well, let's check. Is there uh, something that's the same task name as tomorrow? Same sort of thing? Oh, there is? Okay, I'm just gonna bump it a day later, but if not, I'll just, I'll just put it on tomorrow. So it's looking for if there's tasks that are today, multiple of them, right? So it's gonna find that this record content services, videos there twice, but it's not going to be there tomorrow. It's going to go, oh, hey, find the same task tomorrow. Well, it doesn't, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a thing. So um, let's just move it in three, two, one. What? What are we even talking about? Like, this is the kind of stuff I know how to do now because I've stuck with a platform for four years. I literally automated myself out of the busy work of reorganizing my task list because I'm that advanced at a platform. And I said, I wish I could do that. And then I got, oh, I guess I know how to do that. This isn't me flexing. This is me pointing out the fact that I know that it may be having a rough time. All right. I know 
Notion isn't what it once was from a speed standpoint. Not that it's ever been fast. But if the product keeps getting better and I'm able to do this stuff because I'm going to get better at what really is just a skill using a platform, then can we please, for the love of God, <laughs> just get over the fact that it's slow and be happy with its improvements. Like seriously, if you if you are to the point of annoyance where it's like, oh God, I can't do it, it's too slow, then stop, you know, that's fine. But if you can handle it, stick it out. They'll probably figure out the speed thing eventually. And if you're not too worried about the speed and you're worried about the functionality more, I tell you what, it doesn't matter how slow it is. I organize and automate a lot of the busy work down, just like managing everything. And this only took me like an hour to set up and considering it takes me like 10 minutes every day. I'll make that, I know that comment's coming. Oh my God, this dude spent all this time on this automation. It took me like an hour and a half, two hours. It takes me like 10 minutes a day to reorganize my task list. So I don't have to do that anymore. I'm stoked. I'm absolutely jacked. I don't know what I'm saying. But I do know that you have been amazingly supportive of this channel. So I'm appreciative of every single comment, like, subscription. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out this video on how to improve your skills using Notion even more.